What is up guys, Tommy H here, and welcome back to another video regarding new dinosaurs that would spice up the storyline in Jurassic World 3. In my own opinion, Jurassic World 3 has a great chance to showcase new dinosaurs that nobody has ever seen before. And the reason I say this for Jurassic World 3 as opposed to Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom is because we are on mainland and now we have open sourcing. So with that idea being utilized for Jurassic World 3, the door for new dinosaurs to show up has been busted open. Fallen Kingdom, despite them using new dinosaurs like the Carnotaurus, the Allosaurus, and the Baryonyx, there was that feeling that these dinosaurs have always been here ever since Jurassic World, and Fallen Kingdom was their chance to show up on the big screen. But this time around, we have the chance to include new dinosaurs in a new movie. In the Jurassic World series, that does not happen too often. But enough with all the talking, I will now be listing off my top 3 dinosaurs that could spice up Jurassic World 3. So at number 3, I have the Therizinosaurus. This dinosaur, for me at least, has been a longtime favorite. Just the way it looks, although it only eats plants, is still very terrifying to the average human being. This dinosaur has a very similar neck structure to a giraffe, and that right there is what puts the Therizinosaurus at over 20 feet in height. Out of all the very dangerous dinosaurs that have shown up in the series, including the Spinosaurus, the T-Rex, and the Indominus Rex, this dinosaur would take the number one spot in height. And let's just say right now that in Jurassic World 3, there will be dinosaur bounty hunting. Just imagine a group of hunters going into the forest and stumbling upon a Therizinosaurus. Over 20 feet tall and it has claws over two and a half feet in length. Just a simple swipe or a stab could easily kill off any human being. And that same outcome does apply to some of the most dangerous modern day animals to roam planet earth. So that fact alone is why I want the Therizinosaurus to show up in Jurassic World 3 and spice things up. Moving on to number 2, I have the Iguanodon. Now this may be a bit surprising, but as far as I can remember, we've never seen this dinosaur show up in the Jurassic Park franchise. And that to me is the franchise missing out. Although it is not one of these very dangerous herbivores like the Stegosaurus, the Triceratops, or the Ankylosaurus, the Iguanodon is still a powerhouse and they do travel in packs. Not to mention, it also did appear in Disney's dinosaur movie. So very much like the Carnotaurus, the Iguanodon got a very big name from this film. So if you were to include this dinosaur in Jurassic World 3, it is very popular, very powerful, and like I did say before, they do travel in packs. That is one concept I do want to see utilized in Jurassic World 3 because all of these different films do not use it enough. The only real time we get to see this used is when new raptor packs are appearing. So the Iguanodon for me is a very powerful dinosaur that has a lot of opportunities in this film. But as for the number one dinosaur on this list, I have to give it to the biggest land carnivore to ever exist on this planet, the Spinosaurus. Like I have seen many times, aside from Rexy, we have no big land carnivores roaming planet Earth. We of course have the Carnotaurus, the Allosaurus, and the Baryonyx, but they simply are just not the same predator that the Spinosaurus is. This carnivore can hunt on land and in water, and I just really want to see it return in this movie. Maybe a possible Spinosaurus vs T-Rex rematch, or just the Spinosaurus taking over again as the main antagonist. Either one of those I would be fine with, but how about you guys? What are three new dinosaurs that in your opinion would spice up this new film? Write this all down below, and if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe if you want, and if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and have a nice day.